Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel, but you can call me Shanti. And today I was planning on filming an anti haul, but when I was looking at Trend Mood, I saw like five or six Halloween launches that I thought, why waste this opportunity and instead do a Halloween launch examination, so to speak. So it's not quite gonna be an anti haul, but we're gonna be talking over some of the Halloween releases and uh, kind of like thoughts and opinions on those, if they're worth the money or not. Side note, if you are wondering why I am wearing a wig, one, because I want to, two, because it's Halloween month and I thought this would be fun, um, and three, I recently got into the wig life thanks to my sister-in-law. You're gonna see me swapping through a bunch of wigs, not just this month, but probably for the rest of my channel life too, because wigs are fun. So while I'm filming this, I'm going to be uh, pulling up all the information on my laptop, which is just to my right here. So you may see me looking over this way and that's just why. Okay, so I've got four for you today. And the first one that we have is Butte Bean and Shroud collab. The pre-order starts October 4th. It's limited edition, but restocks will continue as long as the demand is there. And the, the pricing is $35. I'm gonna guess that's US. Vegan and cruelty free, handmade and hand pressed, made in the US, so that likely is US pricing. And then you can also, included in this launch, you can also purchase three hard enamel pins which are $15 each, I'm gonna guess. Or you can buy all of it together for $45. But if you want 10% off for the code BUTEBEAN, all in capital letters, you can get that. That's pretty exciting. Um, I really like this. I love seeing small YouTuber collabs. Her launch video for it was just so cute. You can tell she's so excited. She's honestly like such a talented makeup artist. Highly recommend checking out her videos if you have not. I love the color story. It's all purples. You got a couple shimmers, a few matte shades. I feel like there's a good ratio of shimmer to matte. She's included a black in there as well, which is really nice. Um, I like that some of the darker greens are more turquoise-y and then you've got lime greens. Those always go together so well. So I'd be really excited to know what the shroud formula was like. If you've used the shroud cosmetics formula before, uh, drop a comment down below. I'd be really interested to know what your thoughts on the formula were. But just based on the color story and the fact that it's a nine pan palette these days, I would say this is a flaunt. <laughs> Next up, ColourPop and Disney are at it again. And this time it's a Hocus Pocus launch. I feel like Hocus Pocus just experienced a resurgence last year and I'm, it's carrying over into this year. Uh, so in this launch, there is the Gather Round Sisters eyeshadow palette, uh, lip duos, so lipstick and lip liner called I Smell Children. I put a spell on you, I am beautiful. And then there are three different lashes Boss Witch, Flurry Witch, and Clever Witch. And then some cream gel liners. They've got a red, a deep purple, and green. And then two glitter toppers. That's a huge launch. And I think it is very fitting for the Hocus Pocus brand. Um, the colors in the palette, I think I was expecting there to be more popping greens, not so much the olive tone one that's in there. I thought there'd be more of those. There's a lot of light pinks and neutrals, uh, which is cute, but I feel like they could have made this a nine pan palette with like one line for each of the witches. I feel like they could have just left it at the eyeshadow palette, lashes, uh, liners, and lip kits. Um, I think the, the glitter toppers is just that one extra step that wasn't really necessary. So for me, this one would probably be a haunt, uh, mostly because I have most of the colors in this palette. The only thing that really interests me from this launch is actually the cream gel liners. Everything else I feel like ColourPop has done before. You can find these colors in any of their other collabs. I'd be curious to see uh, if they're gonna have like an all over, you can buy the whole set for, for one price and save a little bit on that. But if you are interested in buying anything from this and you do wanna save a little bit of money, if you use code TRENDMOOD, uh, you get 10% off this palette. 
BH Cosmetics just released their Drop Dead Gorgeous launch. This includes a large palette called Full On Crazy uh, for $19. It's got 14 different shades with different finishes. Then they came out with a mini, which is called Little Bit Psycho. Uh, this one's retailed at $14. Now this has eight shades with different finishes. They also have a sparkly red glitter gel. That's called Glitter Blood for $12. And a six piece brush set for $18 called Killer Queen. I mean, do I need to say it? Little Bit Psycho full on crazy. I'm not a big fan of the names that they chose for the palettes. I get what they were going for, but it was a bit of a miss for me. Uh, but I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to talk about the palettes. I am not a fan of the colors. I don't feel like they go together that well. I don't know what the BH Cosmetics formula is like, but these prices are really nice. I like the prices. I like the packaging. I don't like the names. I like the idea of this, but I wish they'd gone for more reds. I wish they'd swapped out those blues for greens. I don't know, basically the whole bottom row on full on crazy, I just, other than the black, I just don't feel like scream Halloween to me. Whereas that top row, little bit more, but again, I wish they'd swapped out the blues for greens in this palette. That would have seemed more Halloween-y to me. That would have seemed more Halloween. Maybe that's just me. So this one is a haunt for me. If you're interested in the BH Cosmetics palette, uh, Trend Mood also has a discount code for that, which again is Trend Mood in all capital letters. Now, Beauty Boo Cosmetics, owned by Selena Spooky Boo of TikTok. She also has a YouTube channel and posts on that sometimes. Um, if you haven't checked her out, I highly recommend it. She has such a hilarious personality. Um, so she started her own beauty line and she came out with the Want to Watch a Scary Movie collection. This is sold out already. Sorry guys, but it looks like she is planning on restocking this collection. Uh, so it comes with a pink holographic bag for $22. I'm going to guess these are Canadian prices because she lives in Ontario, Canada. So the bag is $22. The palette is $35 and it has 12 shadows with a bunch of different finishes. She also has some faux mink lashes. Uh, she named these If Looks Could Kill. That's pretty funny. She also came with a, with a lip gloss for $15, a highlighter for $21, and a pop socket for $7. So the retail value of everything is $115 and it's a pretty cool set and I like how complete it is and I just really love the color story of the palette. It has a good combination of things that I consider to be like fall and Halloween. I feel like this is a really good combination of that so you can do more like spooky looks with uh, some of the pans more in the middle, but the ones on the outside are more like a kind of like fall inspired. You could go for a more like neutral look and that red just looks like it pops so much. I'd be really curious to know what the formula is on this. I haven't bought any of uh, Selena's stuff yet, but her fans go crazy whenever she launches something. This one I think is a flaunt for me. I do not have a discount code for Selena, but I mean, the girl is running her own business. I hope you guys enjoyed talking about some of the Halloween launches. I'm sure by the time I post this video, there will probably be more out there to discuss. So who knows, maybe I'll be following up with another video. Overall, I'm really happy to see more Halloween launches. I was seeing a lot of holiday launches and it was discouraging me because it's like, come on guys, like we're four months out, well, we're three months out from Christmas. I think we can like take a break and, um, you know, focus on Thanksgiving and Halloween first. And then I can start worrying about the massive amounts of money I'm gonna have to spend on Christmas gifts. Sound good? Okay, good, great. If you like this video, if you like my vibe, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching guys. Take it easy. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Oh, let's fix this. But I also think buying glitter toppers from makeup brands is a little 
owned by Selena Spooky Boo of Twi- I think they could have gone without the glitter toppers, 